Fast Boy Carl, short-term rental management, the education department at the short-term shop, bringing you some uh, listing advice today. This comes from our Facebook group, short-term rental listing advice. Um, going into this cold, I did not practice on this listing. Something to be aware of. And this is in Hocking Hills, Ohio, a very popular vacation destination. First thing I'm going to say is your hero, we call this your hero picture, stinks. Roof's cut off, terrible angle. Really, if you're looking at this from a photography standpoint, you're take you're taking a picture of these trees and this these you know this ridge line here. So, um, not a good option here for a first picture, in my opinion. I don't even know that I would want this picture on my listing at all. Sorry to be so brutal. Uh, let me backtrack. Your pillar number one, which is your headline, got five pillars of a listing, right? Pillar one, uh, which if you want to hear more about the five pillars, uh, it's a it's a podcast that I put out on uh, short term rental. Uh, management is the name of my podcast. You never believe it. Short-term rental management, wherever podcasts are listened to. Great headline. A um, little vague here. With I mean, a little kind of too broad of a spectrum with this Hocking Hills cabin. I should already know that, right? I searched for this area, so I should kind of already know where this is. I don't know if the location is necessary. <clears throat> and I'm not all that excited about the word cabin. I think you could probably spice it up a little bit here. But I do like the 40 acres with trails. That's nice. And obviously, probably a pretty good selling point for your property. Uh, first five photos are are decent. Um, again, I haven't looked at the rest of them, so let's go ahead and do that now. A decent, as in a decent uh, mixture of stuff in your photos. Photos are fairly well done. Some of them are a little on the dark side. You've got a lot of beiges going on in this house, which beige is outdated. But it's a cabin, so I get it. I ain't mad at you. Really cool outdoor seating area here. You got that cool claw foot. The barn area. The trails. Very cool. Too many pictures of trees. Get some, get rid of this. How many pictures do we have overall? 51. Ditch some of these tree pictures. I think it's a little redundant. Got your fire pit. This is a little bit better exterior photo of the home, but still looks a little, I hate to tell you, it looks a little dumpy. You know, I, I know that's brutal, but like you're, you're, you got, you know, it's kind of like beat up looking right here, which I, maybe that's the vibe you're going for. Let me see if I can zoom in. Is that even fixable? You got a, you got a gutter there. I'm not, it's too blurry to see why, what's causing that. See, like right here, you got a better line, but then it does get worse over here. I would maybe get the gutter guy over there. Are those gutters just beat up, or is the the end of the roof there a little beat up? Again, nitpicking there. Let me go back. Um, great looking hot tub, the grill. Maybe it's just dirty, but it does look, a little, you know, it's not very inviting. doesn't make me want to book. Hot tub does. Brand new, nice hot tub. Great job there. Everybody loves a hot tub when they're on vacation. All right. A couple of tweaks we could do on your photos. Uh, pricing, I'm not going to comment on because, again, I don't know your market, but I will say you don't have any bookings in September. Your price is probably too high. Again, I don't know your market. Figure out your old crap number and, and start working it. Uh, name in the name in the uh, description is to me it's worthless. I'm going to explain this. I have to. Problem is, is I've had to explain this a million times, so I've, I've, I'm having trouble repeating myself. There's no way for me to get upstream of this other than to continue to explain it. People are not smart. Nobody knows what a Bushby Hideaway is. All right. Um, you do, you think it's cute and it's the name of your house and that's fine. That's great. I love it. Name your house. But to put it in your description is confusing. Average Joe Schmo has no idea what that means. And it's the first thing that you're using to market your property. The only reason to put a name of a property in the listing is if you're trying to get off platform, which is against the rules anyway. But if you wanted to do that, then your profile picture should have your business name or your property name so that they can see it here. Uh, the folks that want to do that are going to find you. 
you know, it's very few people that want to do that anyway. We don't recommend that. Again, we love Airbnb. We love Verbo. But if that's the goal, still not a good idea to do it here. So I would ditch this all together. And also these two sentences to me are just kind of confusing and worthless. I would say that right here, this is a bullet point. In other words, you could take that, put a check mark in front of it, and then you've got one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. So you would have you need one more really to make it symmetrical. You could have all ten of those bullet points right here next to each other with a space in between. So ten, five, and five with and then just space it out so that you know that it looks nice. So that it looks nice, right? Okay. Um, again, not a whole lot of um, advice for you here because I don't know the market, but um, I hope you found at least a little bit of value here, and um, it's a cool house. I'd love to hike those trails. Yeah.